Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. the way Richarlison over to the left swung in towards the middle and here's Alan Alan tries to get it forward quickly oh he's gone for it What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Everton have an early lead. Good start. March. Lalana. The defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Calvert Lewin. Gets wrestled off the ball. Brighton seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. And here's the chance to counter. Calvert-Lewin. To Corey! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Everton scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Inia takes it over to the other flank. Go. No. And it's played forward. Yeah. And it shoots! Yeah. And it goes! Two up and threatening to pull clear! A moment that needed composure. And he had plenty of it. I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by failing to move one way and then readjusting back. Control triple.
Everton grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Oh, good interception. Lalana goes looking. Forward it goes. Calvert-Lewin. Dinha tries to switch the play. James Rodriguez, Coleman, Allen, Gomez. There's the ball in. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It shapes the shoot. <laughs> The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Everton take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. <laughs> and the ball's come out! <laughs> Tries to get it clear. It's a great ball. Has a hit! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward as they threw the match, but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Everton are cruising it at half time, 3 0 ahead. And the game has already resumed here. That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit.
So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Coleman plays it forward. Lalana. Proper. March. Proper. That's a throw. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. Has gone out. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. And it's Coleman. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Hit into the middle. Dunk with the clearance. Proper. Dunk drives it forward. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, he has the ability to cause real problems, so they have to deal with him in, shall we say, a more assertive manner. Proper. Hoists it forward. Out to the right. Keeps everyone guessing. And he has been fouled there. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He's trying the shot. This could fall anywhere. And the defence can get it clear. Proper, set up one goal so far. Lalana. Alan with a good steal, well played. Alan spreads it towards the left. With much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Everton disappointing in the end there. Oh, that urgency. Proper. Time to deliver. And it's played forward. A really good feat from him. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Feltman. Plays it out to the flank. Sticks in a foot to win it back. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Richarlison. Calvert-Lewin crosses it. And that's out of reach. Brighton making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Lalana. Two minutes to be added on. 
Brighton getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Both. And that's that. Everton have won it. As much industry as inspiration. And over the formula, it has worked for them. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads, and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon.